guys. It's Prism and Twins. And I'm going to teach you how to juggle three balls. So, um, see, um, so this is what the three ball cascade. And I'm also going to teach you other, um, tricks, like the reverse cascade, um, as well. So basically, I'll show you the revert first the uh, um, cascade, the normal one, and um, the reverse cascade. And this is, and this is what the normal cascade looks like. Oops. Oops. Um, so basically. As you can see in the color, um, color ball example, each ball is thrown at their sides. Actually, they're thrown into the other hand, resulting of a side swap of three repeatedly. Three, 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 three. Okay, and this is what the reverse cascade looks like. Each ball is thrown on the outside and set. It's the inside to the outside. I'm sorry if I keep on stopping. Um, these are new balls, they're kind of bigger, but, but I'll try to deal with it because I think yours will get a little bit, um, whatever, um, so just the reverse cascade, it's inside to, into the outside. That's my wacky reverse cascade. Um, so, let's go on to the normal cascade inside to the outside. Um, okay, so first, what you need to do is get one ball and then just throw it to I um in the arc. Just plain throw it first, and if you already teach um a a juggling tutorial, please don't get mad because oh. We'll go into the scooping next. Um, so you throw it at an arc, and the arc is about to your um, eye um, eye level, and that just makes a perfect like three three um three zero zero, which means one ball in the cascade. It's like swap matters. Then you scoop. Um, in this matter, and kind of do that like 50 times. Um, like that. Then go on to the next ball. The screen. Um, so as the examples for like my red ball and green ball, um, um, what you'll do is kind of like do a two ball exchange, or I just like to say a two ball cascade, as I used to say, but now I say an exchange, so, um, man, I'm not, I'm not getting to the today, um, so it kind of looks like this, they're all thrown at eye height, I level, sorry. Um, so then, so what you do in this case, don't actually do this. I'm just make it will just go like this, and then you kind of like throw this one, um, throw this one into okay, that's, so you kind of throw it, um, and then. 
kind of like throw the other one like like um like right left or if you're like kind of like left handed then it would be left right um um so so you throw this ball and then then you throw this ball catch the green so like this um throw the red ball um throw and cat throw the green ball catch the red ball so it's like also heights um are actually very very helpful um in this in this even though it might not get you much control um it will when you get um better at juggling so so Um, so it's like this. Okay. Then, we'll, oh yeah, um, by the way, when you cut, just to basically make it look neater, just keep on going slow. So now you're gonna get bit good at juggling. Now it's time to add the third ball. Now, if you're left-handed, do it in your left hand, of course. Always put it in your dominant hand. Dominant means what's better for like writing a pencil. You know. So now what you just need to do is do the two ball exchange, which is also, by the way, very important in a lot of cases of tricks in the juggling community. Um, and then, basically, I would also try doing it with your left hand because, like, it would help. Like, oh, I'm, I think I'm, wait, I forgot to tell you. Um, do the exchange in both directions. Man, please not put into any at all. I try very hard. Okay, um, so. What? Um, so basically, you're going to throw this ball, then throw that ball. And basically, you're kind of, like in the second throw, you're kind of basically doing um, a two ball exchange left to the right. And basically, in the first throw to the and to the second throw is a a right to left exchange. So basically, you're gonna do this. But remember, height helps. Um, so basically, you're gonna throw this ball, throw that ball, and that. I would just suggest, like, um, kind of like, like, kind of doing the scoops with one ball first, and then maybe do a two ball cascade or just, just two ball exchange repeatedly with the, with what the other, the, the, the third ball in your dominant or um, um, hand and also try to be good with trying to catch it well these are kind of big balls so I'm just 11 so basically um, I just like if, if you're an adult, like you might use two or something or even more. Um, then keep on adding rows. Like this is three, which is just called a flask, I think. No, or, or is it a flash? I don't know. I remember. Um, then I would just repeatedly 
do this over like this two to three then you catch this ball either left or right um, and then kind of start again then keep on then keep on going then then just add more throws like five throws one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five like that then add like seven one two three five six seven one two one two three four five six seven one two three four one two three five six seven like that so yeah you can't get to this and you kind of catch it like that okay okay so basically if you keep on practicing what i said you basically um get the cascade this is my cascade and don't forget height and uh, kind of doing it while a ball is in your hand so basically you should learn perfectly well not perfectly but no the Okay, okay, I think you probably know the cascade, but, okay, so now we're going to go through, and I'm not good, um, the reverse cascade, inside to the outside, but first, let me just check the video, if it's still going, okay, it's still going, but I still need, just need a little bit, just need a tiny, tiny bit more time because I haven't verified my, verified my account. So, so basically, it's um inside to the outside. So, kind of like um instead of this motion, you're kind of doing this. Um, and basically, again, do it like this instead of this. You're kind of doing it this way, reverse, throwing out, and then you could do the two ball exchange, kind of like doing this. You kind of catch the ball and drag it in the outside. Remember, height also does work, but I think that's how it would be when you first try this. But um, when you get that, um, then add your third ball. This will be kind of hard. I just use the sides, so it's kind of easier to grab. Um, so just do this, and do that, do this, and then do that, 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 that. Hmm. That, that, that. Okay. So, um, just like the same. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye.